Hey everyone, so I'm concluding my Airbnb clone. I had a lot of fun making this, and I want to thank everyone who followed along and helped along the way, reporting bugs and also giving feature suggestions. This has been one of my most advanced uh, series and projects that I've done so far. Uh, we covered a lot of ground in this. We built out five different packages um, in this, starting with a server which is built on TypeScript um, and Node.js and GraphQL that communicates with a PostgreSQL database and also uses Redis for sessions and storing some intermediate data and then building out a website in React and then also in TypeScript as well um, using there and also on the app. So we built both a website and a React Native app. Now we spent more time on that website, um, but we did show how you can use a code between both your website and your app we built a controller package which would store all our GraphQL code. And then we share that GraphQL code between the website and the app when fetching data. So we could fetch the same data between them and not duplicate code. And then also we had a common package which would be shared across both the website, app, and server. And this included things that they all needed. So we did some uh, cross code sharing thanks to Yarn Workspaces. So setting all that stuff up took quite a bit of time in getting all this stuff working. Um, but uh, it was pretty fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I bet you're wondering what is coming up next. So here's my plan for the immediate future. So I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow just showing you how to upgrade this thing to TypeScript 3, because that came out in the middle of this, and uh, it's causing a little bit of a problem. But I'll discuss that more tomorrow. And then after that, a video going over how you can clone this on your computer from scratch and set up all the different parts if you wanted to. And then a video going over how to do dates in GraphQL. And then I'm going to be doing a new series. So I've been doing a lot of advanced stuff and I wanna try something new. I'm gonna be trying out a beginner React course. Um, and I'll talk more about why I'm doing that um, and what that's going to be covering in a future video. And I know probably many of you who went through the Slack clone or the Airbnb clone, probably this is not the course for you. Uh, this is probably too basic, but don't worry. I have some future advanced courses in the near future coming up as well. Something I want to hit very soon is serverless and doing GraphQL and combining the two. So that's what's coming up in the future. Thanks guys for watching.